Hello everybody and welcome to One Player. Today on the table we have Tiny Epic Defenders. This is another replay on the channel. I've been going through some of my older videos and this is one of them that stood out to me as needing a bit of a redo. Um, the quality wasn't that great and the sound wasn't that great and the game wasn't that good <laughs> or I didn't play it very well I don't think. So um, I'm, we're gonna give it another go. Um, it's back on the table. Um, Full disclosure, I might not win. I mean, this game is really quite difficult to solo. Um, I found it very hard. And so, you know, just, just look out for that. But cooperatively and solo, it works the same way. You basically, in the solo mode, you play with two characters. So we've got two characters down here. We've got the Dwarf Cleric, Germund, and the Elf Commander, Leishum, um, in a fetching green and red combination. Up here we've got our uh, location tiles, so our capital city, we start in the middle. From here we can move out to either the east or the west, and then the surrounding areas are connected um, to each other this way, like that. So we can always move to two or three other locations from where we're standing. The way this game works, um, it's basically it's basically an action point allocation game. So we've got a deck up here of either enemy turns or defender turns. Um, the defenders are gonna be trying to mitigate threats on each of the locations. So this threat level here goes up and down based on how many enemies are attacking it. Um, if ever we get to the top of the threat meter on any particular location, that location becomes unusable, or at least its, uh, its ability becomes unusable, and then we start adding threat to the capital city itself. If the capital city of Edenmore ever falls, that is game over. So we have some standard enemies already placed into this deck, and then as we progress through the rounds, we'll get some epic foes, um, some epic enemies out of this deck, and then at the end, um, oh no, no, sorry, not epic foes, uh, dire foes, sorry. Um, we'll get some dire enemies out of this deck, and then at the very end, we'll face the epic foe, which has been chosen from a possible, I think there's like, I wanna say like eight or 10 of them in the box. There's quite a lot of different, you know, there's a lot of different re replayability. Each of these cards have two sides. I don't think it matters. Um, or it doesn't matter whether you play side A or B. It just depend, you know, just, just denotes the uh, different abilities you get. So for example, like, um, you can either you can defend the adjacent outer regions as if you were on them um, with the safeguard ability. Here you can um, spend two action points to uh, prayer, and you can uh, reduce yeah you can reduce threat that way. Kind of like this one actually. I'm gonna go with that one. Maybe I give myself a better chance of succeeding. Um, but that's pretty much it. And um, we've got artifacts down here. This is the big selling point for this tiny epic defenders. Um, was these little item meeples, um, little tiny items you can actually equip onto your meeples, which is, yeah, pretty cool. I mean, I guess that's pretty neat. And most of the Tiny Epic series, I believe, has like something at least interesting that they do with meeples. Um, I like the little uh, Tiny Epic mechs, I think had literally like little mechanical robots you could like throw them in, which is pretty cool. Anyway, let's get on with the game and um, we'll figure out how this works so yeah um the first the first round we've 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 got three enemies in here and then we've got all of our defender cards so this is going to be the three enemies on top to basically tell us where the threat is going to start and then we've got all of our turns to kind of deal with that and then the next round um it'll be random so for now i'm going to flip this and i'll probably use this as a discard pile so we've pulled a First and second, first we go to the plains, second we go to the forest, and we just raise the threat on both. If we were standing there, we could defend it, um, but obviously we are not. So here we go, we've got a mountain and another plains, that's not so good. We've got another forest and a desert, and then here we will start our defender's turn. So all defenders here are able to move, and we've got three action points, that's just a lightning shield to spend collectively, or four if there are any destroyed regions. Thankfully there are not at the moment, but I mean here's the thing, um, given that we've got already level two here and already level two here, I'm... Um, I'm of the mind of probably going to try to fix that. So if we do one as a movement and two as a movement, we can do three, um, our third action point to um, lower the threat. What's the actual word? Shore up or, wait, secure. Yes, I'm sorry. 
uh, secure. So you'll see here on the player cards, we can move, we can secure, we can use an ability, um, which is based on whatever they have down here on their cards. And um, we can also fight, of course, the epic foe. Um, we can also sacrifice one heart point to gain an additional action, which, you know, that, that might not be a bad idea. Gurmund is the only character who has the ability to heal, so he can spend an action point to heal himself um, or another defender in his, in his same region. Um, otherwise, if you want to heal yourself, you have to come back to the capital city and start your turn there. So it's kind of like you're always not wanting to go too far obviously I mean you know you're only ever two steps away but two steps when you only get three action points is still quite a lot all right anyway so on with it so that was three um, so next card will be the green defender so that is Gurmund um, well because we chose safeguard we may defend the two adjacent outer regions as if we were on them so if I spend two of my points to go one and two, that leaves... Uh, oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's fine. I got confused for a second and thought that green was German, but it's not. It's Latium. So as soon as my defender card is drawn, we may choose another defender to gain one to spend immediately. Okay, well, he'll, he'll gain one and go here, and now the dwarf is in the desert. Okay, yeah, all right. Sorry, got a bit mixed up. So, but yes, um, we've gained three, so that's one, two. Um, and then I suppose, to be, to be honest, I'd like him to stay in the plains. Um, and unfortunately, you can't save your points to go over. Um, but I'd like him to stay here, because we know that there's going to be at least two drawn here for next round. So I don't really want to send him off doing other stuff, because that's this is where the threat's going to be. And that's where he needs to be to be defending. Um, so I think we'll, yeah, I think we'll leave it there. Um, this will be the red defender. Yes, so that is Gurmund. And you can do one, two, three, because you were able to shore up this. And yeah, there we go. So nice. Um, that was good uh, and fine. Um, we've got the mountain still at one, but that's all right. And now we've got um, all defenders. I think we do this. Maybe we do one, two three and we're back to the starting condition no threat on the board but we've got our people out um, able to defend the regions which again will be coming up next round so we take the top card of the enemy deck we shuffle it in obviously without looking um, the enemy deck the, the depth of the enemy deck of course depends on well how difficult you want the game to be and how many players you're playing with so I think we've got how many rounds have we got two three four five so there's seven rounds in total right so one two three four five six seven yeah seven rounds in total in the solo game again with which is pretty much the same as the two player game um, I should say, any time we defeat a dire enemy is when we get to pull the artifact. So there's lots and lots of artifacts, as you can see. Um, lots of little special abilities we can gain. Um, not not a huge amount of opportunity to gain them because, of course, we've only got you know, we've only got so many dire enemies in there and so many chances to defend. Of course, if they happen just to like show up on the coast and we're not there, we can't defend against them because that's not how the game works. So, first card, it's us again, which is terrible luck because we don't have anything to do, um, which is really annoying. So, this is where this game frustrates the heck out of me because if, for example, like, say we were to pull all of our defenders here, we wouldn't be able to do anything for the rest of the round and we would be probably pretty screwed. I'm happy with where my defenders are. Um, in terms of their placement and They're both at full health, so we don't need to do anything there there There's no movement to make or we can't shore up anything further or etc. Etc um, I suppose we could move here and lose one to look at the th uh, To look at the turn deck Yeah, I mean, I guess we could do that then we can at least be sure that um, We're gonna be in the right place hopefully um, so let's do this. We'll do this. We'll lose one for German because he's the only person who can heal again. Um, and then we'll look at the top three cards of the turn deck, rearrange them in any order, and place them back on top. 
Yeah, so this would have been bad. So I would have pref I would prefer the plains and the forest to come out first. Um, then the mountains and the plains, and then we'll have an then we'll have an all defenders turn again. So that actually works out pretty well. So that was um, one movement point, right? That this will be two, and then this will be three to heal, and we're back in the same place, but we've able to shift the deck around. So that was all right. Um, wasn't wasn't useless after all. So here we go. We've got planes coming, and we can either. Let the wolves um, again raise the threat level in the plains, or we defend, and we defend by basically re uh, just moving our health points down by one. So Latium yeah. is going down to three, and I'm fine with that. Um, here's the spiders; they're attacking the forest, and Germand can go down to three as well. And we have defended, no threat added. We've defended successfully. Now we've got the mountains; um, that's okay. And then we've got the planes again, and Latium. Yeah, I mean, I suppose I'll... Do we want to defend one more time? Or do we want to just... No, let's let's keep him there, because in case we draw a dire enemy, a dire enemy requires two hearts um, to defend rather than just one. So if I have him on two, he has to face the dire enemy, and then he will be knocked out um, and have to return to the capital city. So I prefer to not. I'll keep him on three and we'll gain a threat in the planes. Now it's that all defenders turn, so I can I can spend two in the forest to secure one of any outer region, so I could secure the mountains for two. If I remember the cards that we had, there'll be more planes and there'll be more forests. Oh no, there won't be more planes, there will be more forests though. There'll also be a desert. So I could, I could theoretically move move Latium to the desert and then spend two to fix the mountains while knowing that the, the forest is going to be coming up. I think that's probably the best thing to do. So we use one movement point there, two to secure here, and yes, I think that was all right. Red Defender's turn. Okay, not that helpful, but I suppose we'll just do this. We'll go one, heal Latium, and then that's two, and that's three back to the forest. Yeah, okay. Again, we can only heal our comrade if he is on the same square, so that's why we moved. Um, okay, board looks all right. Yes, here we go. So we've got a desert, we've got the mountains again. So we've got, so we must have, we've got two mountains, two plains, two forests, and a desert. And then I think there's one more card that I don't know about. I think that's correct. Um, so we go first to the desert. Um, let's defend and not take any threat, please. Second, the mountain. That'll go back up to one. Green defender's turn. Um, again, when the green comes in, uh, elf commander will give one action point to Gurmund. So I suppose we can just heal himself. And then we've got three to spend for him. Um, let's go up to the planes again. Um, one, two, we can't heal him, um, but because we're here, oh yeah, of course, I, I need to remember that, because we're here, we can defend the desert from here, um, which is absolutely fantastic, actually, that's, that's so helpful. Um, all right, the final card then is Forest Desert. Okay, so that's not terrible. So we'll defend the forest. Um, the desert. Mm, let's take one on the desert. I'm not. I'm not too concerned about it going up to one. Um, so we'll, because I could defend, but I don't want to. Again, I don't want to bring him up to or down to two. So we didn't pull a dire enemy into the deck this turn. So that probably will be happening next one. I think there's. There's either three or four in there, I can't remember. Let's just look through so I can try to remember one more time. So we've got two forests, two forests, two plains. Oh, we've got two of everything, except coast and ruins. So we've got two of everything. So as long as we keep everything around about one, we should be okay. Um, we'll have a little bit of breathing room. And this, of course, is nice because we can secure one anywhere, even though it is for two points. Um, and then this, of course, is great because we can defend both ruins and desert from our, our vantage point on the plains. So that's pretty good. 
Um, okay, let's shuffle these up and see what we've got. First card, it's all defenders again. Um, okay, three points. Well then, should we do the same thing? One. Lose a heart. Look at the three cards. One, two, three. Yeah, see, that's really annoying. Um, I suppose if we put the red here, he can go to the mountains. Um, yeah, he can go to the mountains. Well, actually, no, he'll already be in the mountains, won't he? Because that was only one movement. Then the mirage, so that'll be two three back to the mountains. Um, or I suppose I can heal him. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Um, so we'll heal. Yeah, all right, good. Um, so that was one movement. That's two, three movement into the mountains. Um, then we'll pull the red defender. Gurmund will get a chance to not only heal himself for two, but he can also spend one to meditate. He gets to place his defender in the circle, and when the mountains are attack, attacked, we can move out of the circle to defend without having to spend a heart. So that is perfect because da -da -da, we're going to defend, ignore this, the second one coming to the plains, we will, actually we'll probably take that too. I need to go and heal him, don't I really? Um, again, I'm kind of scared of a dire enemy coming up here. I mean... Honestly, they could be striking anywhere, but I just I, I don't like him going down to two because I just he's weaker. You know, he's not he's not able to um, to heal himself, which is which is troublesome, shall we say? Um, let me think. Hold on one second. Oh, now we need to move him out. Yeah, let's think. We know his green card is coming up now, so if I did. Secure one, two. They would. He would then start his turn in the capital city with full hearts. But then the likelihood of him being able to move back to be able to defend is pretty low, given that there's only one more turn card and five more enemy cards. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. So as soon as my commander card is drawn, I can choose another defender to gain one. So we'll gain one, and I suppose, do we secure? Or do we go to the forest? Um, there's still two to come for the forest and only one to come for the mountains. Um, I suppose it doesn't really matter, does it? Um, let's let's go to the let's go here because um, then we can always secure. So we've we've used this point to move. Then we've got three points for Latium. We'll do one. Um, Oh, I don't know, two, three. And now he's not on the plains, he's in the desert. That's okay. And forest and desert. All right, that's good. Um, so forest, we will take one. Desert. Again, do we take it or do we not? I don't know. Let's take it. He's really close to the capital city, so I think we'll be all right. Another desert and another mountain. So I will take one for the desert. I don't want to get him down to one, really. And I'll take one for the mountain because I don't have a choice. I've got no one there. All defenders, so they need to start their turn in the capital city, which is unfortunate because I'd like to, well, it's fine. Let's just move him. I'm gonna move him, all right, hold on. We've got the two deserts out of the way. We've got the two mountains out of the way. We need one plains and one forest and then something else. One plains, one forest, something else. Plains are going to be okay, forests are going to be okay, so whatever the something else is, that's fine too. I'm going to spend two here to secure the mountains for one. I'm going to spend one to move him into the capital city, and the, the next start of his turn, he'll be replenished. Okay, that was three. <sighs> that is really frustrating because... That's exactly where I would have liked to be to face him. <laughs> oh, flipping heck. All right, so the Manticore. He has raised the desert. Do we have... We've, we have used both the desert cards, so that's good. It's not going to go up. So he's raised the desert. It's going to increase two threat instead of one, which is unfortunate. Um, we know we've got a Manticore, so we're going to have to concentrate on the desert for now. 
Um, but we haven't been able to defeat him, and thus we're not going to be able to get an artifact. That's so frustrating. I shouldn't have, yeah, I should have stayed in the desert. Of course I should have. Ah. Okay, never mind. Um, that's that. So we're we're dangerous. We're perilously high on this. So I don't think this is a desert card. No, it's not. So this will be one, and we'll take one for the forest because um, I'm trying to s I'm trying to keep this not on fire. Now then, this is going to be tricky because we really, really need to get to the desert like ASAP, and so we really, really. <laughs> Um, need a defender turn to come before a desert card because if we pull a desert card then it is going to be destroyed and that's going to destroy our opportunity that's going to destroy our opportunity to um, to look at the top three cards which has actually been quite useful um, over the past two rounds all right so we're I think that's sufficiently shuffled Okay, defender card, please. Oh, it is fantastic. Okay, so let's. You um, are back up to four. Um, we'll do one, two, three. And I'm going to lose a heart to look at the top. Two, three. I think we always are going to choose to do that. Oh my God, they're always in a. If it's just my shuffling, or there's just like, I mean, it's a tiny deck, so of course they're pretty likely to be close to one another, but oh, it's so frustrating. Because um, you really want them spread out, you know, to be able to react, rather than doing everything up front and then, you know, not really having anything else to do. Um, I don't want this red defender turn. I, like, I, I don't want it. But um, we are going to have to take it. So I think. Um, one, two. I'd like to be in the desert, but I I can be in the desert by being in the plains. So I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna use my turn. Then I'm gonna do the desert, move this guy to the mountains, and then we'll have a red defender turn and figure out what happens from there. That was three, I think, right? Yes, one, two, three. So green defender gives him one. So we use his one to go here then we've got three points so we'll do one two three get the threat down yeah yeah we'll get you out here i can defend against the desert as if i was there because i'm on the plains so i will do that take him down to two even though i said i don't like to do that i think this is getting more pressing and we'll take a mountain and um, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna take the hit there as well. Um, and then, because we know we've got the red defender card coming up, we can do one, two, and you know, I suppose we could just put him here, couldn't we? Because it's basically the same as shoring it up. I think it's the same as shoring it up. Forest and desert. That's too bad. Um, oh, I suppose I could defend the desert with this guy, but sorry, I've got hair all over my table. Um, uh, forest, desert. No, let's take one for the desert. It's not that bad. And we're going to defend against the dire enemy there anyway. Yes. Okay, you. So this is going to be unfortunate for Latium, but necessary because. We don't want the desert to go back up to three. So we are going to face the dire enemy and we're gonna lose two hearts because of that. However, we are gonna gain an artifact and the Gavel of Gamlin. After defending, peek at the next two cards in the turn deck. You may return these cards to the top of the deck in any order. That only applies to the elf commander, of course, um, but that is a pretty handy, nifty little uh, Little, little complimentary, you know, little complimentary item there. I like that it has a little G on there. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that at all, but it's got a G on either side, which is really cute. So there he is. There's our there's our item equal, um in the flesh, holding. Is he left-handed? No, probably not. Oh, there we go. He's right-handed. 
there he is, um, standing atop the plains like a true elven warrior. So the Man's Core has been, well, defended against. It'll come back next round, unfortunately. Um, but that's okay. Um, unfortunately, um, this commander can no longer defend. So the planes are going to be in a bit of trouble unless we can get Gurmund up there. But that's going to take an entire turn, and I don't think it's worth it. So, um, really, we're going to have to focus on getting this guy back to the capital city, probably, um, in order to do any good. All right, planes and the forest. So, unfortunately, yes, um, planes will take one. The forest will take one because I'm not standing there. I'm meditating in the mountains, and I just hope this is a mountain card. It's all defenders. Okay. Um, okay, we're going to do... We're going to do... One, two, three. And he's going to replenish by his next turn, which I think will be... Have we got have we got one more all defenders card? No, I think that's it. I can never, I, I'm so, I just need to know the deck better, really, don't I? All right, so here we go. We've we finally got the benefit of meditating because we can step out, defend against the mountain lions. The planes will go back up, but that's okay. And then, okay, yeah, we've only got two. That's right. The forest is going to go up to three, which is bad. Coast will go up to one, so that's the first time we've seen that. Um, we don't want this to go up anymore. Yeah. So now we are a little bit in trouble again because we've got such a high threat on the forest and we know we've got we've got now f what three or four forests um, in the deck that are going to get attacked so I'd certainly prefer to probably stand there with Gurmund for a little while and uh, and have him have him take care of business um, all right I'm just kind of like mashing these together. I'm not going to do it. I'm not doing riffle shuffle because there's only like ten cards. Um, but hopefully this is doing a good enough job. Um, I would like it to be a defender on the top. So if that is at all possible, it is not. But it is mountains and plains. So at least it's not the forest. Mountains will take plains. We have to unfortunately raise. Oh, thank goodness for that. Okay, so. Um, Frankly, we need actually him to get, well, I'd like to move him here to lower the threat, but I think what I'll do is I'll use his one. Um, well, okay, hold on. Raises heart, raises health, he's back to full heart. He's, he's done his time in Eden more. This one will go here, and you are going to have to defend this with your life. You are going to spend three, and you're going to go one, two, three, and I think that's the way to do it. Again, this seems like the best place for him to stand because he's got he's covering three. This seems like the best place for you to stand because we know we've got one, a lot of forests. Well, and obviously, yeah, we don't want it to go any higher. So yeah, okay, good. Forest, and there we go. So uh, one there, and I think we'll defend against the desert too with our planes. So here we go. And after defending, let's take a look at the two cards in the turn deck. Huh, okay. If I were to do, if I were to do one, two, man, this guy's got a lot to do and he's on very low health, isn't he? I think we'll have to take the mountains, to be honest. Um, I think we'll have to take, take a hit to it. But I think let's do this and we'll just shore up, we'll just shore up the forest a little bit and heal Gurmund. Yeah, okay. Um, so... Okay, good. So all defenders get three. So let's do, do we go down by two and heal by one? Or do we go heal by two and down by... Blah, 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 blah. I think we heal because it is, if we're standing here, we can negate the threat, right? So this isn't going to raise as long as we're standing here because Gurmund is like tanky. Desert again. Um, I'm going to take one fellatium, I think. Ooh. I forget what I'm doing, sorry. Um, oh, I just defended the desert. Now the mountain is going to go up by one. Yeah, okay. So we've got two on two, which is not the best. 
All right, we've got ruins. I'm fine to let that go to one. Uh, planes, planes. I'm gonna get to two because if the manticore come, wait, no, the manticore's already come. No, he hasn't. So if the manticore comes, I need Latium to be able to defend against him. Um, which means that I'm gonna. Oh gosh. Um, oh no. Oh dear. All right, we'll take this up to three. I know this is a bit risky, but I think that's what we have to do. How many planes do we have again? Do we have three planes? I think we've only got three, so we've had them all, I think. Um, we'll take the planes and we will not take the forest. German will defend. All defenders. Let's do one, two, three. I think we've got more forests to come. Yeah, we've got two forests, and I think we've got four total. We've got two forests out, and I think we've got four total in the deck. So I'm going to bring this down to zero. Gosh, this is this is tense. All right, here we go. Here's our Manticore. So again, we're going to defend with Latium. He's dead. Well, not dead, but he's he's incapacitated. But he is going to gain another artifact um, for defending against the Manticore. And is the wings of Zephyr? Oh, that's move to any outer region of your choice once per turn. That is fantastic, actually. I'm very happy with that, Paul. Um, because getting around is definitely the bane of this game's existence. So let's plug him in there. Poor German, he's looking pretty plain where this guy's got wings and a hammer. Goodness gracious. Um, can we get those in there? Do they actually fit? Yeah, look at that. He's got little wings. I think you can see that. Little hammer. He's like a, he's like a big harpy. It's an angry elf harpy hammer man. Two more cards. I think if we had we've had all of our actions. No, we haven't had the we haven't had Gurman's actions. So one of these is a Gurman action, which is fine. Um, one of them is going to be something else though, and I don't know what it is. Um, do we spend all of Gurman's action points to go up and heal Latium? Or is that a terrible idea? Is that a terrible idea? And it heals him up to one. He's still going to have to go to the capital city, isn't he, really? It's still going to take two. It's going to take two cost to get there. Yeah, even at, even at, even at one health, he's going to, he's going to struggle. Um, so I don't know if it's worth it. But then is it worth having them both in the same place so German can watch over the planes while Latium is going to heal himself? Ooh, yes, I think so. Again, we're leaving the forest undefended, but it's the lowest at the moment, which is nice. So we've got room to let it go a little bit. So that was one, two, and then I'll heal Latium, just so he can defend. Maybe he'll spend his last defense point, you know, before he goes to the capital city. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, yeah, we've got the forest and the coast. So the coast is up to two. We're going to have to figure that out. At some point, probably using wings. Um, that's turn. All right, last card. So this has got to be another dire enemy. I think it must be. Pretty sure there's supposed to be two. Is it two or three? I don't remember. I just know you're not allowed to look at it because that would, you know, kind of give you a give you a hint. All right. Well, this the coast is going to be okay because we know we've only got one coast. I'm almost I'm almost certain that card has got to be a dire enemy. So we know we've only got one coast. Unless the dire enemy is on the coast, of course. So the coast will be fine. The forest will probably be alright. The mountains might take a bit of a hit because we've got uh, three mountains, I think, in the deck now. The plains are looking pretty bad too. Although we haven't lost any regions at all, which is actually okay. I, we haven't lost any regions at all, which is actually pretty impressive. Um, I'm actually feeling somewhat optimistic about this game um, thus far. And obviously we're getting pretty close to the epic foe coming out, which is, you know, just a whole other kit and caboodle. Okay, that's fine. Um, hmm. That's okay, because we'll take you here. One, two. What do I just heal him fully? I can just heal him, can't I? If it's all defenders, I can just heal him. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna heal him. Um, one. Heal him by one or heal him by two. <laughs> heal him by one, and then 
two, three down to the forest. That should be nice for him to hop to the mountains, wouldn't it? I spend one to for him to hop to the mountains, so that I can heal him by two. Or I can, or I can shore this up, or this up. <laughs> Let's shore this up. Yeah, okay. So we hopped to the mountains, we flew, flew over to the mountains, and what is going to befall us? Um, all right, well, mountains is good. We can take, we can take the hit, I think, on Latium. I'll defend with, yeah, I'll defend with Gurmund. No, I won't. I'm going to save him, because if it's the Manticore, I need to defend with Gurmund. So I'll... I'll take the hit on the on the desert. I will now things start getting tense. I'm gonna take the hit on the mountains as well. I don't know if this is a good idea. Forest and desert. Forest we cannot do anything about. Desert I'm I am gonna defend, so we'll take Gurman down to one and hope this is a defender card. Oh, it's not. It's a forest and a coast. So we've got both of those on three. That's not great. All defenders, okay. Um, so we're gonna have to Let's think. <laughs> um, we've got three points. We'll take one here, two, three, like that. Oh, that's interesting. Um, that's interesting because now what do I do? Well, I'll heal one and I'll shore up by two, I think. And then we've got, we're going to have, we've just got Latium's turn left in this massive deck of otherwise terrible things um all right well now we've got fire uh, we've got plains and forest so we'll do plains we'll take one forest we will we'll let get up to three and we'll have to take the next one. Oh, here we go here's the second dire enemy defenders may not use the abilities of artifacts for the remainder of the round that's if we don't defend so we're gonna have to defend because I want to. Oh wait, did I? I forgot if I defended against, oh no, I didn't defend against the mountains. I just let him take it, didn't I? I let him hit it. Um, I should have defended against the forest because then I could have seen the next two cards, but there you go. Um, all right, so we'll take two on German, given that he's standing there on the plains, um, he's now down to zero, so he's not going to be able to defend anymore until his turn, well, until Latium's turn to give him one to heal. But he does gain his first artifact, so his artifact is the Spear of Valor. Spend two and fight, dealing three damage instead of one. Spend two to do three. Yeah, okay, that's pretty good, actually. Um, especially when the epic foe comes out. So where's the... Is this the Spear of Valor? Yeah, this is the, this has got to be the Spear of Valor. Is it? Yeah, that's that's some sort of holy trinket. Yes, okay. Spear of Valor. Nice, mate. Does... This, it doesn't really look like a spear. It looks like a wand. Anyway, um, but there you go. Look, that's, that's our dwarf. There he is. I actually did... Um, mess around with trying to uh, like 3D print guys with little holes in them so that I could plug these into little miniatures instead. It went like moderately well, but not great. Here, let me show you. These are just like prototypes, and this is of course a complete aside, so sorry for interrupting. But yeah, so like these are just like loosely printed prototypes, but like, you know, you can obviously like place the holes in the same, the same width apart. I don't think I actually got them the right diameter though. So like, the theory was I could use this guy instead of, like, and then, you know, he'd be able to, if he wanted to carry the horn, you could just put it on his giant axe there. At least that was the theory. Not really, though. And then this guy, this is like the Gamelin Knight or whatever. I thought it was a pretty good idea, but it didn't, the prototypes didn't come out great. I mean, I can definitely print miniatures better than this now that I've kind of dabbled with some other settings, but yeah, maybe I'll try that again. I don't know. If I start playing this more, I probably will. Um, sorry about that. Um, I just get, get I just got completely distracted. And what are we doing? Yes, we're taking a turn. So Gurmund is, Gurmund is, uh, he's no longer with us. In, I mean, he's with us in body, but not in mind. I think, or maybe he's with us in mind, but not in body, because he's been beaten up by a basilisk. I don't know. Anyway, 
Um, ruins, so ruins, he cannot defend unfortunately, so ruins go up to two. Plains are going to go up to one, but that's okay. Um, I don't mind that really. Um, mountains are going to go up to three, and plains are going to go up to two. This has got to be green, yes. So, German can heal himself, so that's nice. And then three points for you, which will probably be, where is this going to be? Can we figure it out? It's not going to be planes, because I think we've had all those. I think we've got one, two, three. I think it's going to be the forest. Mountains, mountains. I think it's going to be forest and mountains. So in that case, um, as long as I am on either the forest or the mountains, and I go and save, and I save one, if I do one, two, three, or do I not? Do I want to do I want to lose the heart? No, I'm going to do three, and that way I won't lose a heart when I defend it. They'll both be on three, but it'll be okay. <sighs> yeah? Oh gosh, I don't know. Oh, it's the Manticore. I forgot about him. It's it's the Manticore. I forgot that we hadn't did we haven't done the Manticore. <sighs> My card counting is absolutely terrible. So actually, we only have two mountains. How many forests do we have again? One, two, three. I thought we had four. We don't. We don't have four. That's just complete and utter confabulation. Um, oh, that's a real shame because German cannot defend as he only has one health. So this is going to be raised uh, because Manticore does two damage instead of one. And that means that unfortunately this is going to start going up any time our threat in the desert goes up. We're also not able to use the Mirage, but the good thing is that we take the Manticore and we place him here to let us know that this is, you know, no longer usable. But that means that he is out of the deck, so that's actually not bad. Or it's not the worst thing that could happen. Okay, so something relatively frustrating just happened, which was that my camera decided to run out of storage, but didn't tell me. So I've just been talking to myself um, for the past like 15 to 20 minutes while I came very close to rounding out this game. Um, I didn't finish, so I didn't win or lose. And th thanks to the wonders of video recording, I'm able to obviously go back and see where everything is. So I have put everything back to where it was, like in my world 20 minutes ago, and in your world about 20 seconds ago. Um, and we are ready to prepare ourselves for the epic foe. Um, I think what I was saying is that because the Manticore destroyed the desert, it now lives there and isn't in our deck anymore, which is actually kind of a good thing because it's not going to do that again. It's also a bad thing because we can't use the desert special ability. So with that said, um, let's shuffle this and I will start playing again. It has ruined the surprise for me because I do already know the epic foe um, or I know what it's going to be. I didn't change it because, well, now I kind of want to beat it, given I've already seen who it is. Um, but yeah, but I'll I'll try to I'll, I'll try to act surprised as soon as I turn it over, um, you know, just to really bring that like authenticity back um, into this playthrough. All right, so it's time to reveal the epic foe. Let's see who we are going to face. Oh my gosh! Oh, oh my, oh my goodness! It's the dragon. Oh, what is? Th I've never. What is this even? I'm just kidding. I'll stop. Um, yeah. So this dragon. He's gonna go live in the mountains. Anytime we pull a defender card, we rotate him round the board by two regions. So he's always moving, which makes him very hard to pin down and attack. Of course, he's got ten hit points. Anytime we get to these little uh, kind of like. Spitfire, if you're like me and you grew up listening to The Offspring, it looks kind of like The Offspring logo to me, <laughs> which is really embarrassing. I probably shouldn't say that in public. Um, but yeah, it looks like either like the Spitfire like skateboard wheels or like The Offspring logo. Um, anytime we get to one of these levels, um, either six or two, all of our defenders lose two hearts. The way I'm playing it, and I, it doesn't mention this in the rulebook whether this is right or not, but if, like, for example, he was on seven and I take him down by two health, I skip it. And I don't, I don't lose two, right? I can, I can kind of skip, skip that space. Um, I'm not sure if it should be like, you know, you lose two. If we defeat him by two, and that goes one and two, and that counts, 
but I'm not going to play it that way because I don't want to lose 8 health, to be honest, and I think this game's hard enough as it is. So we've got him in the mountains, and he's on 10 health. Um, I did have him down a little bit less than that, but that's okay. Our elf commander's standing in the mountains, he's still meditating. Gurmund is up here, he's a bit knackered, but he's still around, and we're going to flip the top of... I mean, I knew what I know what happened before, but obviously now I've reshuffled this, I'm not really sure what's going to happen again, so hopefully um, this goes all right. I mean, we've got multiple regions on three, right? We've got the coast, we've got the mountains on three, although he's safe, he's safe there, to be honest. And then we've got the desert, so anytime something lands on the desert, it's going gonna, it's gonna to raise the threat in the capital city. Of course, we can get up to eight here, so we've got seven, eight. Um, once we get to eight, that is game over. All defenders. Well, that's not actually a bad card, because I think I will probably start to punch the dragon right in the mouth so i'm gonna do i'm gonna do oh and because we've got a we, because we've got a destroyed region as well we actually get four points instead of three so with that in mind i'm gonna punch the dragon in the face twice to eight. Oh wait when any defender card is drawn immediately move the dragon clockwise two regions <laughs> you get all right, I'm not going to punch the dragon in the face because he's over there now, like a like a coward. <laughs> can you see that? Yeah, you can see him. Can you just can you about see him? Yeah, you can just about see him. Let me. Yeah, you can just about see him. I think. All right. Um. So we've got the dragon. He's over there now. Um. That's annoying. So then, if I I like German being on the plains because he can take care of this entire sector however we do have this spend two and deal three damage instead of one and i think that is probably what we want to do once per turn so if i do one heal him two spend two and deal three damage that takes our dragon down to seven and that feels all right actually i like that Thank you, Spear of Valor. Not bad. We've spent four points. We've still poisoned the mountains. You're now in the desert, but that's okay. I know we've got a lot of desert cards in here, so hopefully you can do some defending as well. Forest is going up. And the, and the, the Manticore is not going to come anymore, so we can safely get this guy down to one and not have to worry because the Manticore's there. So we take the forest, we'll defend against the scorpions, um, and that's turn. The Basilisk. Okay. This is where things get tricky. Defenders may not use the abilities of artifacts for the remainder of the round. <sighs> you absolute git. All right, so that's going up to three. Leave this card out as a reminder. Yeah, okay. Um, I'll just put it right here. So we're not going to be able to fly, we're not going to be able to peek, and we're not going to be able to fight again, or at least fight valorly, Va valorously, with valor, oh yeah, with valor. We're not going to be able to fight with valor um, for the rest of the round. That's frustrating, and we don't get an artifact, of course. Um, but you know, life goes on. It's the green defender's turn, so the dragon moves. I am not going to forget that. Okay. German gains one point, which means he's going to go up to two. He's going to heal himself. You get four. So honestly, I don't really want to get you out of your meditation. Because um, I like I like it when you meditate. I'd like to spend this wings, but I can't. That's annoying. So let's just do this, I guess. One, two, three. Can't do anything else, really. I suppose I should go to the forest, shouldn't I? I should. I'm going to have to get out of my meditation. I think the coast is kind of done for, but the forest I need to really shore up. We've only got one coast card in our deck, so it's just going to happen, and that's fine. I'm okay with it. It's going to go. It's going to. It's going to affect the capital city so infrequently. No, I'm going to. I'm paranoid that it's not going to record, so I'm going to keep checking the camera. Um, I'm, I'm going to. Yeah, it's going to. It's going to raise the capital city so infrequently that I'm okay with the coast going. But the forest, we've got like a lot of forest cards in the deck, and I want to try and keep that shored up as 
as, as shored up as possible. With that in mind, the dragon is ever on, only ever going to be on the mountains, the desert, and the ruins, of course. Um, I didn't really think about that before, but of course he's always going to be in those three. He's never going to be able to get off um, that that pattern, if you will. All right, what if I do this? One, two, three, four, um, and then I can defend to make sure the mountains don't increase and the forest is going to be all right. And we've got all defenders. That's kind of annoying because I'd rather wait till the dragon came around to actually smack him in the face again. But, okay. oh, wait. Oh, yeah, of course. He does. He does come around. He does come around. He comes right here. I am going to smack him in the face. Oh, this is great. I'm going to smack you in the face, mate. Um, so I'm going to do two to him. Do I do three to him? Take this down by one. Do three to him? I don't see why not. German doesn't really need to do much, does he? He's just sending it, sitting in the desert, like, chilling. And then we'll do one, two, three. He's down to four. Actually, we might win this game. Forget what I said earlier. This um, this game is it's just it's simple. Simple, really. Simple stuff. Oh, that's not good. Um, that's not good at all, because that means the planes are destroyed. Now, I don't know if we do this. I'm, I'm pretty sure we do, but I'm not sure. Um, I don't know if because he destroyed the planes, does he go straight here, or does he also use this? I'll just use it. I mean, I don't know. But anyway, the second... I'm not sure if the second one should actually go through because we've used the first over here. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, I mean, let's just, it, it feels, it would feel like cheating. Um, so we've got him up here. Yeah, um, so we've got him up here. Um, so now, anytime the planes get hit, gets hit, the capital city is going to get hit instead. Um, good, very good. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Mountain. Um... I'll defend the mountain. I've been defend it. I don't care. Latium, defend it, mate. Go on. You're on one health, which is a bit nerve-wracking, but... Oh, the wings... You can't tape the wings to the city, can you? Yeah, I forgot about that. That's annoying. Um, all right, never mind. That's fine. Um, you're going to have to spend a turn to get back there, or you're going to have to come over here and heal him. Um, and the planes get hit, so that's one in the capital city. Edenmore is a burning. The ruins is up to three, and the planes again, getting us up to two in the capital city. The desert. Um, I think we will take we'll take one for the desert, and we'll take one threat in the mountains because I want this guy to be around for his turn because I think he's still got a red turn coming up. Yes. Forest will go up to that. The coast is raised um, or destroyed or whatever the word is. So this is going to go over here, which again is not a bad thing because we've lost another forest card. So that's not terrible. Um, and then this is our red defender card. So dragon's going to go over here, um, which means that actually German gets a action point, doesn't he? Does he want to spend it on healing himself or does he want to spend it on smacking the dragon? while he's there, you know. Just while he's there, might as well have a pop. Or does he heal himself? Do we smack the dragon? I think we do. Because then with three points, next time, when I get to use the Spear of Valor next round, I'll be able to smack him in the face so hard he will actually die. And now Latium's got four points, so let's do um, one... Two, three, four. Don't know if that was the best use of movement. He's only got one health still. Um, but at least we've bought ourselves a little bit more time. Um, and yeah, the basilisk is going to get shuffled back in, unfortunately. Um, so he's gonna he's gonna keep coming, which is not good. But hopefully. Well, it'll take two defender cards to get the dragon back around, won't it? So one, two, no, wait, three. It'll take three defender cards to get the dragon back around. Maybe I just need to go chase him, honestly. If I go chase him, I'll be able to spend two and fight and deal three damage. <laughs> that is the worst card. 
card to draw at the start of a round, I cannot use any of my artifacts again. That's probably just lost me the game. Oh, that is so annoying. That's so annoying. And we hit the plane so the threat goes up there. That is awful. That is horrendous, actually. Here's our defender card, so the dragon's gonna come around. I suppose I just gotta follow him, haven't I, really? I think I've got to follow him with Gurmund. Like, screw defending, I've just got to go and absolutely and just and just try to kill the dragon. So that's one, two, three, four, down to one health. If we pull the desert, if we pull the plains, if we pull the coast, it's gonna go towards the capital city. But the forest is slightly safe. We've got a guy on the ruins and we've got a guy on the mountains. Admittedly, we don't want either of them to actually take any damage because they're both on one and we need them to fight the dragon. <sighs> ruins. I am gonna I am gonna defend with Gurman because he can heal himself. Um, Plains is going to take one, so we're up to four threat. Green Defender's turn. Oh, oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Dragon comes around, sits on the mountaintop, and you, my friend, are going to deal the blow that finishes him off because we're going to do one and two, three action points, and the dragon has been conquered. Oh boy, I thought that was going to be the end of us because that is awful. But we managed to do it by smacking him with the gavel of Gamelin. So there you go. Gamelin, Gamelin, I think, uh, Gam I'm going to know it's Gamelin Games, but Gamelin sounds better. Anyway, to me at least. That is Tiny Epic Defenders. This game is punishing. It really is punishing. If you get a bad card, if you get a bad round, like if you're, all your defenders are like at the bottom of the deck and you, you can't do anything it, it does feel very frustrating but having revisited this game after giving it a try like last year um where i really honestly couldn't quite get into it um it just felt like another one of those like action point games um you know go here shore this up go here do the other thing you know you don't have enough action points what are you going to do etc etc um you know along the veins of like forbidden island flashpoint pandemic to a degree um i felt a bit like meh about it but undoubtedly one this game is absolutely beautiful i mean look at it it's very very pretty um it looks lovely on the table and actually the the cards and the characters are really pretty cool um so it's got that on its side two it does create a lot of tension and you know i was close to losing um, at several points, I feel like, during this game. And we kind of, we, we, we squeaked it out, which feels really good. Um, it does feel really, really cool. And of course, like some of the predictability of the epic foes, so like the dragon's movement, for example, um, is helpful and, and, and does kind of mitigate some of that like luck that you have with relying on, um, relying on a deck of cards for your turn order. So yeah, that's that. Do I recommend it? I don't know if this is your thing i think if this is your thing then you will like it if you're on the fence i'm not sure but if you like fantasy if you like the tiny epic series if you like meeples if you like action point games then you're, you're gonna be too well taken care of that is gonna be it from me thank you so much for watching sorry about the camera issue um thankfully i think we're able to kind of like reel it back in and hopefully um in editing we'll uh we'll smooth it out um but otherwise um, yeah, do consider subscribing. Um, lots more solo board gaming content on the way. Drop me a like if you like, and until next time, I will see you later.